Do you deploy Azure Data Factory pipelines with CI/CD pipeline in Azure DevOps? If so, this video can be useful. Recently, Microsoft released an article, which is this one, called Automated Publishing for Continuous Integration and Delivery. This is a, a new approach that Microsoft proposed uh, in relation to deploying Azure Data Factory pipeline. Before we get into it, I'm Riz Eng, and I'm a data engineer specializing in Microsoft Azure. And I make videos about data engineering, Microsoft Azure, or both. To give you a bit of context, CICD for ADF pipelines is about deploying the developed pipelines or can codes in ARM templates into another environment, usually higher environments. For example, from development, into tests and then to, from tests to production. Now, just to show you this uh, Microsoft article again, uh, this is a new approach that Microsoft recommends to uh, deploy or publish uh, ADA pipelines with Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline. Previously, the old approach is shown in this diagram where the codes are in uh, Git and, and ADF. When you turn on Git in ADF, you have to select a branch as a collaboration branch. In this case, master, usually is the de default. And you typically have to manually publish uh, the, the master branch or collaboration branch, which will then produce a new branch called ADF underscore publish. Now this new branch will be used in the Azure DevOps release pipeline to deploy into other environments. Just to show you what it looks like, you basically have to go in into uh, Azure DevOps, sorry, Azure Data Factory, and then you have to click publish to produce that ADF underscore publish. Now, just to, give, to illustrate a bit more as well, in Azure release pipeline, I've got these uh, two different release pipelines just to show the difference. In the old pipeline, which is using this diagram, you basically have uh, the ADF underscore published branch as an artifact. So it's pointing to a branch particularly, and it's pointing to ADF underscore published branch, and it will pick up the, the latest uh, codes from what's published. This is not the usual route to deploy because CI/CD, the CI bit, is usually uh, within uh, is done within Azure build pipeline, which one, which is here, and ADF so far happens to be following a different approach. Now, with this approach, you basically take what's published in the ADF underscore publish. And then you tip, you follow the typical process, and I'm not going to go into much detail, but typically there's three steps. You stop ADF triggers because if you want to update any triggers, you have to stop it first. And this is how the code or the parameters look like. It's pointing to a, a PowerShell script to do that. And this is the the, the actual. Uh, data factory deployment and this is pointing to the uh, ADF underscore publish branch yeah and the codes or this this task look very exactly similar to the new approach uh, with some subtle differences so this is the old approach or the current CICD flow now Microsoft recommends uh, a new approach to automate the uh, the manual step which is the ADF uh, publish uh, manual step in the above. Instead, it actually use DevOps build pipeline, uh, some NPM or node package manager uh, package, and build or basically publish the codes here in the process. And this is great because typically you have uh, uh, data SQL database codes or Synapse SQL codes or Logic Apps, uh, ARM templates, they're all built in a Visual Studio solution file, which get built in this DevOps build pipeline. 
previously in the old approach you sort of have to have two different uh, lines here one is for the, uh, the non-ADF the other one is for ADF uh, which is not great uh, now in the new approach everything is one in the build pipeline uh, previously you have build pipeline you have the ADS underscore publish for the ADF hope that makes sense now in this new approach you, you build the uh, the DevOps uh, build and it generates an ARM template and this is the ARM templates is used by the release pipeline and you can deploy it to other environments just to show you what it looks like uh, instead of going straight into the release I actually have a build pipeline here which I've created and I've run a couple of times uh, some failed some successful but typically and, and I'm gonna share this YAML code uh, in, the, in the github uh, find it in the description down below but effectively the key ones here and I, I basically copy this from the Microsoft site with some some of my modifications because it's not really that straightforward to do um, so from here but first thing first before we do this make sure in your Azure repo at the root folder make sure you add this file package.json this is required for the uh, build to succeed otherwise it will fail and I will also include this package.json file in the github that I'm going to share in the description below but it's also available in Microsoft uh, website if you want to do it yourself now from here make sure you have this one yeah, this is the very first step and as you can see this is a data factory folder that I have the <coughs> the, the folders that they will get published uh, back to Azure pipelines if I just show you again the YAML code you can see here uh, it's triggering, triggering from master branch uh, this is uh, the basics looking is the, the VM OS is Ubuntu and I have this variable so that I don't have to type this multiple times it's basically the Azure subscription uh, resource group where the data factory resides and the actual data factory name and I have the, the dev one as an example here this one is a copy paste from Microsoft website now the next one here is validate this is optional I think this is this step here is basically the same as clicking validate all in ADF GUI but instead you, you do it here just to check and the command is run build validate and this is the uh, Azure uh, pipeline hosted agent uh, <coughs> system directory and I'm point this is basically pointing to the Azure repos and, and I'm looking at the, the first uh, the data factory folder because I've got in the repos I've got data factory folder and the rest uh, just follow along this is the description name the resource group and the actual data factory name as well that's just validate the next one is actually validate and generate the ARM templates this one here is run build instead of validate it exports same file uh, same same uh, description as above but uh, the addition is the target folder where the ARM templates get published or get gets created and I, cr I, I name it ARM templates folder here and and then you want to publish it so that it is visible uh, and visible for the Azure release pipeline and here I just create an, uh, an sort of like a folder basically or it's called artifact name called drop and I'm basically publishing uh, the one from ARM um, templates here it's here from here it's basically yeah this is again this is pointing to the Azure pipeline hosted agent uh, uh, VM uh, location and this is what I want to publish and the output of this Azure build pipeline is an artifact that is located in a artifact named drop and I have this ADF 
ARM templates I get to deploy. And this is the ARM template. Uh, the, the one that we need really is the, the first, the second, and the last one, because this is what we use to stop and start trigger again, if you remember. The first one and second one is also what we use to deploy ADF. Uh, if you go to releases, <coughs> if you go to the this one, I create this new release. If I click, click edit here, instead of the uh, Azure repo, ADF underscore publish branch, this is now pointing to the build pipeline. Right? So it's looking at the latest. And the job is actually very, it's basically the same. But instead of pointing to ADF underscore publish, I'm pointing to the drop uh, artifact. The rest is the same, apart from it's pointing to drop. This one as well, the start trigger, it's pointing to drop for the pre post deployment script. And for the ADA, deploy ADF, um, now pointing to the drop as well, the ARM template factory, ARM template parameters for factory, JSON, da 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 da, -da. Um, I'm hoping, I'm assuming that you have some ideas what how, how these tasks work, uh, like this two are PowerShell, this one is ARM template uh, task deployment, and it's basically we're deploying ARM templates for ADM. <coughs> Just to keep the, the video short, I've already released and, and, and activate this and it is working and and yeah it, again it's nice that with this new process uh, the um, everything all, all the codes get, get built and tested uh, all by the issue build pipeline instead of ADF in ADF uh, manually published in ADF interface and also there's other other codes like the for example SQL database or Synapse SQL codes that get published in Azure build pipeline. It's now streamlined in one place, built and validated together, which is great. Okay, and like I said, I will share the files in the I'll provide the links in the description below. And I hope this tutorial is somewhat useful. And tell me, how do you publish ADF pipelines into higher environments? Do you use the old approach or are you actually using the new approach or are you using a different approach altogether? Uh, let me know in the comment down below. I'd like to hear it from you. And lastly, if you find this video any use, please consider uh, like and subscribe so that you can get more videos like this. Thanks very much and see you later.